want to do it from here is because to get this position and to do the role will be a lot easier for you to understand than if we go into the whole Delahiva position and do the role. Because in essence, when he stretches me out, he's going to end up like this. The only difference would be his leg would be up here, and his other leg would be there, and he'd be holding. You know, that would be the only difference, right? So the idea right now is to use the fact that my partner wants to load me up to him to attack, right? So I'm going to start with an inside collar grip here. I'm going to start with the pant grip on the inside over here. Pant grip is eventually, if they're doing it from De La Hiva, you can control them stretching you out, all right? Now my goal is gonna be this, look. I pull him into me, I loop around his head all the way, and then I drive my way forward here so that I can roll. Once I roll, I focus on either keeping this grip and pulling him in or getting the underhook here. And now I pull him into me, all right? Does that make sense to you guys? Does that frighten any of you? No. <laughs> no, if it doesn't, then there's something terribly wrong with you. Because if somebody said, all right, listen, we're going to choke our friends by flipping over them and holding their leg and like splitting them in half, I'd be pretty goddamn terrified. So that's something maybe you should be afraid of a little bit, all right? Let me show you again, guys, because it's really easy and it looks a lot more fancy than it really is, okay? As long as I have the inside grip tight, I could loop over my partner's head if I need extra because I can't do it from here. I have to make sure that I'm here already, all right? Now look, I can even just get the roll out here without using my head, and in the middle of the roll, grab his leg there, right? I just kind of like to get the roll uh, from the moment that I start the technique, and then from here, I'm literally focused on just bringing my elbows together. Now, the weird thing about that choke is that it's not so intense. What's intense is when you realize that it's very difficult to escape. Because then you're like, oh, like it's not that intense where you're gonna be like, oh, tap right away. But once you realize your leg is stuck there and you can't move your leg, then it gets really bad really quick. All right, so one more time, guys. And then you're gonna drill a little bit with each other. So one leg is gonna be in the middle, okay? Grab onto the collar, pull them in, loop, make sure that the head is all the way underneath. Your goal is gonna be to roll. So you're just gonna put your hand on the mat if you need to, roll over the top, grab your partner's leg, and as you grab the partner's leg, you're pulling it to the side so that you can flatten out. So you're in essence getting them into like an inverted rolling bow and arrow choke, basically, is what's happening there. Make sense of everybody here? Oops. Oops. Quick question, you're grabbing the leg only when you're done with the roll. No, no, no. You, could, you could grab the leg at any point. Um, the thing is, is that even if you don't grab the leg but you still have the collar, there's a bunch of other chokes you can still do. This is just one way to finish it. There's a ton of different options, like I just showed him before. There's an option where you step over and mount him and you still have the collar and you go up. But just for now, you're gonna grab the leg so that you can stabilize the position after you finish your roll. Just keep in mind one thing, right? The easiest thing to keep, to, to like get this technique really well is as long as my shoulders on him, look, even if I put my hand on the mat and I'm on top of him, I roll, I can see his leg here. Mm. Just take it and go. All right, does that make sense to you guys? Yes? Sir. Okay, let's give it a shot, nice and easy, and then uh, if you guys get this without murdering anybody, we'll try a few more variations. Right, let's go, one, two, three.